Hello everybody, my name is Provis. Welcome back to more EU4 The Tale of the Two Sicilies. Let's pick up where we left off. I'm sorry for the extra long video last time. That was not intentional. It just sort of happened. Time flies when you're having fun and all that, yeah? It's supposed to be how it works or something. Let's go siege all this stuff down a little bit. Just moving over here. We're sieging down Spain and family. You know, that's great. I don't care about Timbuktu and I don't care about Spanish Brazil. So, what we really want to do probably is just go ahead and peace out with Spain. I could feed some more land off to Aragon, who, by the way, holy crap, has a lot of claims. That is a lot of claims. Um, well, now I'm sort of regretting annexing uh, Aragon, because it looks like I could have fed them literally the entirety of Iberia. Or at the very least, the rest of Spain. Before we did that. Oops. Okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Who was Portugal allied to, by the way? People in India. Mm. Mm. Okay, hang on. So, I was gonna say, let's take a little more of Northern Africa, but now I'm thinking we feed a lot of this off to um, Aragon. So they can core it for me, since they already have claims on, like, all of it. Coalition? It's definitely there. It's a big one. Including Britain. Scary Britain. Hmm. Yep, 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 yep. That would be a problem. Um... I would love nothing better than to kill Portugal, but I guess we're gonna have to wait on that. If I wait closer to December, we can try to avoid... Oops, I'm capped out on power. We can try to avoid giving, um... Letting Britain join up in the coalition. If we wait just a little bit. Let's get our troops out of here. We don't need them anymore. Yeah, I was expecting to take a lot of land for myself. I guess I'm not going to do that. This actually is going to technically increase the cost of uh, coring Aragon. I could do this. Yeah, but that gives enough to Britain that they would definitely be a problem. Right now, they're very close to not being able to join a coalition. Same with Bohemia. Bohemia and Britain joining in together? Scarier. I don't like that. Britain is probably one of the only other players currently that actually could be a threat to me. I mean, I got a pretty large army. Like, I'm stronger than anyone else in Europe by a long shot. But Britain, with their navy and all their other empire and stuff, they, they are making enough money and have enough troops that they could be a problem if they get a call in a whole load of allies. Which, at the moment, they kind of do. That's sort of the point. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and pull some troops back over here. We're going to try to annex as much of Morocco as I can. And I think we're just going to have to accept some serious border gore. With, uh, with Spain. I would love to give Aragon Cadiz, actually. I cannot do that yet. Do we go for the shorter truce? How much money you got? Mm, fair bit. I'm gonna do war reps at the very least for some extra cash. But the rest of this I think I leave as is. I'm gonna take enough, but not any more, because every 10 adds a year onto the truce. So this will be just shy of this. I get a little bit of money out of it. Um, yeah, we'll go for a slightly shorter truce. Which um, I think is going to be worthwhile. Yeah, that's fine. So Aragon, yeah, man. Um, I didn't know you were going to get claims on all of that. All of Castile. That's, that's, that's pretty impressive. Saluzzo still has not got any claims on France, which just annoys me. Trade League of Makassar has ended. A couple more years until we have to get some more tech. Some of these guys can start heading down toward Morocco. The real question is... Yeah, trade efficiency. The real question is, are we going to have um, a ton of aggressive expansion with the European powers by taking on Morocco? Or no? The answer is maybe. So this is what I want. Then beyond that, I can't take everything. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, I only really care about that. Doesn't really make the coalition any worse. So I guess we could take the rest of it here. Great Britain gets a little bit. What if we don't take their capital? We just take these. Yeah, that's fine. So actually, yeah, come January, people lost a lot of aggressive expansion. 
I'm impressed. I actually want a short truce timer with Morocco. Because I plan on attacking them again soon. So we're going to do this. Doink. That's all I really cared about. In the meantime, we core this. Very cheap. Very, very cheap. And also, we now have access to this sucker. Now, it's currently only level 1. I think it loses a level whenever it's been taken. Or something. But, if we can get this sucker upgraded... Oh boy, it's going to be even better. So wait, are we going to lose a level of Alhambra? I'm curious. Actually, if we finish annexing them before it's done, and I think we will... Does it, like, stop? Is that a thing? I don't know. Upgrading the trade ports over in Roma, of course. Are there others we should upgrade? Yeah, we should upgrade this. And this. And this. All the level 1s, basically. Get those up to the max level there. This is still held by Venice, though. Okay. Venice, who, by the way, our truce should be expiring with momentarily. Guess what I'm going to go do? That's right. I'm going to go kill Venice. Because they are kind of all that's holding me back from owning, like, the rest. There's the truce of Venice. So, yeah, uh, as far as Mare Nostrum and owning the entirety of the Mediterranean, we're just missing Venice's territory. We're missing a couple of provinces here in France. And then this northern African coast. That's it. That's all we're missing. We're that close. Are we really unable to improve with any more outraged countries? There we go. Portugal declares war somewhere. Okay, well, they're just doing wars in Asia. Or something. Doomsday is upon us! Oh no! Spain, you get the frick out of here! Guess what, Spain? I'm gonna reset the truce timer! I still got troops nearby, so I don't know what you were thinking! The problem is, uh, Aragon won't be able to, um, core any of this. They won't be able to core their stuff while we're fighting. But whatever, you just, you asked for it, Spain. Now we're gonna go kill you again. And again, and again, and again, and again. I will never let up. I will never give up. I will smash until the day you are dead. The problem is I can't even take much of anything from them. I can only reset the truce timer into something shorter. Which I guess is fine. Oh, look at all these little Venetian ships. They're so cute. I need to get rid of these Venetian islands. That's something I need to do. Where'd my navy go? Navy? Oh, there you are. Hi. So, we're gonna destroy these ships real quick, and bye. There we go. And now we're gonna come up... You know what? Actually, wait. We're gonna dock up right here. I'm gonna just... I'm just gonna take all of you. And we're just gonna drop you off over here or something. So that I can just march on over and take the rest of these islands. We're gonna, we're gonna take them. Either for myself or feed them to Byzantium. I don't really care which. There we go. Troops have arrived. Oh, good. We finished another siege. That was pretty quick. It's almost as if they're still exhausted from the last war. All right. Carpet sieging time. Carpet sieging time. This is why I'm saying this is tedious. There's got to be a faster way to do this. Some hotkeys. Anything? Whatever, regardless, I can just leave them alone for a bit. It's still technically faster than micromanaging sometimes. It's just... Meh. Alright, can't convert any of them, so I'll just go ahead and continue converting my subject. Who has a lot of territory to convert. There goes the Siege of Dara and Toledo. Mm-hmm. These guys I will micromanage. Let's go and take Sevilla and stuff. Start denying uh, Spain a load of their stuff. I suppose one thing we could try to do is actually like just take some territory in Brazil and go for their colonial nation that way. But I'm still pretty sure that's going to give us a stupid amount of aggressive expansion. I don't know if they've changed this in the expansion or not. Um, but it feels like... Oh, right. Let's go ahead and grab the political absolutism. Done. Uh, it feels like it's harder to take colonial territory without the right CB. I feel like it didn't used to really matter, but now I feel like it kind of does. Anyway, so this is going to be taken care of. 
They'll keep, like, carpet sieging everything, so let's see if we can just march on over here. And we'll siege down all of this as well. How are we doing over against uh, Venice? Well, pretty good. Looks like you guys want to have a little fun right over here. So we're just going to pop over into your capital and we're just going to give you a little smish. You got three islands left. The end of Venice will be a truly glorious moment for Italy. Venito is finito. It's not very original. It's not very clever. But it's fun to say. And that sometimes that's good enough. Getting close to capped out on power again. How are we doing on tech? Uh, we're a month away. Okay. In one month, we can get some more tech. There it is. The doinkus, the doinkus, the doinkus. Ding, ding, ding. Idea groups. I want administrative ideas. They're good for a lot of reasons. Um, governing capacity is kind of huge. Pairing this up with the influence ideas so that we can in annex people for a heck of a lot cheaper is pretty good. I'm going to need to get a focus on admin power in five years. Do we want to just go ahead and get this? I don't benefit from mercenaries. That's the only thing that I don't like about this. Uh, but I think we'll do it anyway. I don't really plan on taking a lot of land that I need to core. Most of this I'll just go ahead and hand off to uh, Aragon. So, yeah. I might just accept that we're going to have huge potential coalitions. Because I'm bold. Fortune favors the bold. I'm crazy, man. Don't push me. I'm a donkey on the edge. Or something. Siege all that nonsense up. Where'd you guys go? You're all just hanging out over here. That's cool. This stuff's already completely sieged. So would you all just abandon whatever you're doing? Go somewhere else. Like over here or something, maybe? Tunisian separatists. Hmm. How are we doing over here with uh, Venice and their last little island in uh, Skio? Sio. Hmm. Diplo power and innovativeness. Price of glass goes up for the rest of the game. Cool. We got 9,000 ducats I haven't spent, by the way. I'm aware of it. We could start the upgrades of the mausoleum of Halicarnassus. Phoenician flagship sunk. Not captured? Aw. Would be more fun to... Would be more fun to capture it. But I didn't get to do it. So, Venice, I'm going to go ahead and unsiege this. And you just can have fun over there if you really want to, but... I don't really feel like playing with you anymore, because you don't matter. I'm curious. If I wanted to take some territory in Brazil, what are we looking at? Okay, only 14 with Great Britain. It's not as bad as I thought. We could just take some of Brazil and start our own colonial expansions. If we wanted. I mean, we don't have to, but I mean, if we wanted. What I really want is to take as much of this as we can. But obviously, this is a bit more painful. 52 aggressive expansion with Britain. Holy crap. Um, we would need 127 power to core all of that? Wow. Who could join in on this? The Mamluks could join. France could join. Great Britain could join. And Portugal could join. The Mamluks, France, Britain, and Portugal all fighting me simultaneously? That, that could be scary and a problem. But this is a far worse choice. Huh. I kind of want to hand Cadiz off to Aragon at the very least. It's a good province. Wait, they don't have claims on that, do they? Of course, it's like one of the few things you don't. Alright, what you really want then is Cantabria and Burgos. Those are the ones you want. So that alone is worth 20. Do something like this, and we're looking at 35 with Britain. I don't think it's worth, I'm afraid. I think just taking these two provinces is good enough. And we can try to bankrupt Spain. This is risky. This is risky. 
We're upsetting a lot of people. I need to try to improve with France, since they're outraged, and try to encourage them to stay out of this. I do need to go and fight the Mamluks. Because if we can keep the Mamluks out of this, that's obviously fantastic. These guys do have 40,000 troops, so they're not entirely pushovers. So it'd be worth trying to get them out of here. In the meantime, Venice we are now able to finish off. Doop, doop, doop. Not that much worse than it was prior, so I think we just go ahead and end this. We're going to have you uh, remove your claims on me. Because we can. Bye. Venice is gone! Ding dong, Venice is gone! And just like that, we've now joined up all of this. So everything in color here is our influence. We are just missing a teeny bit here and here. That's pretty decent for 1622, I think. Let's go kill the Venetians that are hanging out over here. Yes, yes, I know we need to go and fight against... Um, oh, we've already maxed out with France. That's it? Hey, France, how would you like a bribe? Would you like a bribe? If I were to send you a gift... of 600 ducats... That would keep you in the positive, and I think that means you can't, or are uh, very unlikely to join a coalition. Wrong, we don't need infantry, better cavalry, and better cannons. There we go. Well, that keeps them out of my hair for a little bit, I hope. So, yeah, we need to continue improving with our outraged countries. You guys all need to go elsewhere. You all need to go elsewhere. You go up here. So the man looks for my next target. Yep, 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 yep. And that's why, that's why right there. Okay, so now we got Switzerland, we got the Mamluks. So the question now is, do we declare right now, except that we're fighting Switzerland, in order to split the coalition, so ideally I don't have to fight Britain or France? Bohemia could join too. So could Austria. Yeah, splitting the coalition would be wise. If we wait any longer, there's a good chance it gets a lot worse. Because the moment people start joining a coalition, it means the AI thinks that they have the advantage. We can call in Ethiopia. Interesting that if we do that, Beha would join. I mean, I'll still call in Ethiopia. Why not? We've got an ally for a reason. Yeah, we're declaring the war. I wanted to check for autonomy first. Darn it. Um, no, it's fine. So, yeah, I'm doing that specifically so that I don't have to hold off on fighting the Mamluks while I wait for Britain, France, and other folks to be okay with what I've done. Because I've been a very, very naughty boy and taken a lot of lands, and people, understandably, aren't thrilled with me about that. I understand that you aren't exactly happy. So... I would ask that you all just pretend this never happened. No, we go fight, we go fight the Mamluks and we just get this out of the way. I'm not even planning on taking, well, I, I take that back. I'm planning on taking some land for myself. I'll feed all of this off to Byzantium, but what I really want to do is just work down the Gulf of Aden myself, take all this. Also take my claims up here, because we have a mission we can finish. Make Trent like me. Uh, sure. It's just less people that can hate me. Less people to be worried about. Really, though? Like, why are we not improving with more outraged countries? Well, Bohemia's now joined, but that would be a separate coalition now. I can probably... bribe Portugal, maybe? Maybe. Do I have a truce with you still? No. So, you could, you could join in against me. You're in the middle of a war, and so long as you're in a war, I don't think you will. Let's, uh, let's bribe you. I think 700 ducats is an easy thing to do. 700 ducats. Get them into the positive. It's not enough. Well, okay, it's enough for France to not be outraged. They feel threatened by me. But I don't think they'll join a coalition over that. 
if Portugal's outrage is a good cho chance they join a coalition, but I think simply being in the positive is enough. Once they're in the coalition, I think you typically need to get them above like 50 relations, and that's generally enough to get them to leave. But once they've joined, it's harder, right? So it's, it's just better in general to try not to deal with that. Uh, strong duchies is still something I want to get rid of, but we can wait for a minute. Let's go siege down the rest of that. Dulcadir is in this war. Oh, hello. Are you a vassal of the Mamluks? You are. Oh. Guess we'll just have to kill that too. Uh, Abin power. Yes, please. I actually could use that. We are low on power projection, and that's because my only rival so far is Britain. Hi, Britain. Um, you already hate me, so... I'm kind of inclined to just send you an insult. It would only get me 10 power projection. It's still not enough, but it does make France like me more. You suck and I hate you! There, got him. Oh, Herzegovina is getting killed by Seely. That's funny. Seely. It's very Seely. Why are we not improving? There we go. Trier, yeah. There's, there's so many people we need to improve relations with. I don't know why the game's pretending we don't. Alright, so they just siege down Alexandria. I don't care. Go ahead. I'm getting more reinforcements over here, and I can use the coast to my advantage. We'll go fast. I'm gonna go and unsiege it real quick. I want to take these three provinces from Egypt. Including, by the way, the pyramids. Which, because I'm not Egyptian culture, nor am I pagan, I can't use. It's exactly like the Parthenon. You can't do anything like that. Still. Nonetheless. Regency Council in Portugal. Huh. That's exciting. So how much of government reform progress are we making? Eight? It's not a lot. We could finally get rid of this in favor of something else. Or, of course, we can just be trying to expand out our administration a little bit. You are going to just go ahead and do some drills... Um, you are... I, I wanted you to stick back and help Aragon with their rebels. Because we all know they're going to have them. So let's just try to help Aragon keep this all under control. There's a fair bit of unrest going on there. Fair bit. The Jainagar, yeah. So Portugal just finished with whatever they were doing. Which means they could have joined coalitions now. Or more, sli more likely would, but now they're not outraged, they're only threatened. And they should be threatened. The fall of Vijayanagar. Sad. Sad times for everyone involved. Sad times. Uh, the Mamluks have chained up quite a few troops. They got 48,000 now, but I got Ethiopia. We lost a siege. I did? Oh. Really? Wait. Who? Oh, we lost the siege up here. Oh. Well, let's go ahead and start clearing out some of the Swiss troops. I do need to get rid of that. We're going to get Alexandria back pretty quickly, I think. Byzantium's kind of already doing their thing. The thing is, the bigger we make Byzantium, the harder it is to keep them under control. That said, they still got free claims, so I mean... I feel like we might as well just use it to our advantage. I know we're taking unnecessary attrition over here by keeping our armies together. But we got a pretty large manpower pool. I'm pretty much already full on manpower, and I'm kind of generating more than I know what to do with, so... Meh. Let's go ahead and start converting the rest of that territory. Get them out of here. There is another trade region over there that I want to take advantage of. We're going to have to create another trade company in a little bit. Come on, Alexandria. Seely took a bunch of land, which it so happens I have claims on, so you've set yourself up for horrible failure. Thank you. I don't have truces with Seely. Just makes it that much easier for me to kill you. We're halfway done with the annexation of Aragon, by the way. Portugal has decided to instead go and attack natives. Fair enough. I have to go all the way down here. Goodness gracious. All oh, right, there's a fort there. That's why. Haha. -ha. Right. Okay, so we'll bring some troops off in that direction. Uh, actually... Might instead decide I want to send another army over to Italy. Let's use the navy and pick them up. 
because I am pretty sure. First off, you have no morale for some reason. Let's just see if we can go scatter you like a bunch of cockroaches. Uh, I think I need a second army to go and deal with Switzerland. These are hills, so this is defensive terrain. I'll use that to my advantage. Come here, little booger. Get over here. Get over here. What kind of rebels are we looking at, by the way? Some. Mantua again? Just keep it pressing. That's about it at the moment, though. So I imagine we can stomp that. Oh, yeah, we can stomp that. That's what we call a stack wipe, ladies and gentlemen. It makes your enemies cry like little babbies. Little, tiny, insignificant babbies. Okay, we finished up the siege of their capital in Cairo, spelled differently and all weird. I still don't know where their army is, so I don't want to go too far, but I'll siege down the rest of the delta for now, at least. So, their army is uh, in Ethiopia. And traveling south. Which is great. So let's siege all this. Okay. Byzantium's still trying real hard. Bless their tiny little hearts. But they're trying oh so very hard to siege down that fort. Byzantium is pathetically weak. We're using them for the claims. It's convenient for me. But they're not, they're not strong. These guys only have had like 8,000 troops and they've gone bankrupt how many freaking times? They got more ships than troops. Hey look, reinforcements. Get up over here. We can't. Now we can go up to the capital. Britain, what are you up to? What are you doing? You're fighting Oldenburg. The Netherlands is actually doing pretty well. This is a big scary Dutch game. I find with the Netherlands, they either end up being really quite strong, or they never get a foothold. But it's rarely somewhere in between. Got 10,000 ducats I'm sitting on now, by the way. Should do something with that. Uh, any new territory I want to do? Yes, we'll do this. Hey, look, some base tax. Hey, look, some governing capacity. We have a gold mine somewhere. Hey, look, trade. A few of those are actually pretty decent. And then manufactories, there's at least a few we can build. We do still want to be building manufactories because, of course, we do have uh, 27 years until that institution can fire. Looks like Switzerland's decided to go around me to try and fight Saluzzo, but I'm going for your capital and burn, so get burned, boyo. Yeah, if you just knock Switzerland out of this, this becomes so much easier. We can't separate piece them. I know that. They're in a coalition, but... Like, come on. Where is the Mamluk army? It is still down here doing absolutely nothing. Not threatening me in any way. That's good. Ethiopia is just kind of hanging out. No, never mind. Ethiopia is now sieging things. Okay. No, 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 no. I don't like this. You guys go along this coastline. How's that? want to go too far south. We gotta be watching for these guys. They can turn around and smash some of my small stacks if I'm not paying attention. I don't feel like losing the small stacks. How much money are we making, by the way? Almost 200 ducats a month. We won the Siege of Como. Good. Let's get back up here to Chur. Work on a second fort. I can't peace out Switzerland, so all I can do... You know what? Actually, turn around and scare them a little bit. Come over here and scare them. Get them out of here. But we can't separate piece them out, so all I can do is just use them for war score. They're war score punching bags. That's it. Nothing else. Another trade ship. Let's go ahead and protect in Ven uh, Venice, I guess. Um, we can do another mission, and we shall. I need to get something with the burgers, ideally. Uh, that might be hard, though. I guess we'll have to do the clergy. It's reasonable enough. Salerno. Manufactory. What I want to see is once these guys are converted, we need to be handing them off to some trading companies. Let me actually just double check real quick. Yeah, these are all in this trade region. But I don't control most of it. 
So I don't think, I doubt we're going to get enough power here to get a free merchant. But we'll get closer. Innovativeness, upset the clergy, tolerance the true faith, or make them loyal. Ah, meh. I don't need their loyalty. I'll just take an innovativeness, I suppose. Looks like we want to fight. Got into a bit of a scrap. No problem, we won that. What's up, guys? So, you're all gonna head down here now. And you guys are just gonna siege down the rest of the Delta River. Ethiopia is sieging more stuff down. Bavaria has declared independence from Austria. Bravo, my friend. Bravo. The Saints. Give me autonomy. I'll use that against them, maybe, if it lets me. Where are you guys running to? Are you going to burn? You can't be retreating all the way over here. I can't be that lucky. Oh, I'm that lucky. They're retreating over here to die. <laughs> oh, that's a bunch of free stack wipes for me. I like it. Feels good. Mm. Continue converting more of Aragon. Byzantine noble rebels in Constantinople. Really? Hmm. Seems to me like you need to um, get your dang affairs in order. Okay, they actually finish up with this... They did not continue with this fort. Oh, wait. You guys go get that then. Uh, brr, morale of armies plus 20% is kind of amazing. We're basically unkillable now for a while. If we can get this fort, and if we can get the fort in the capital of Switzerland, I think we can peace out. We're out of time, so if we can just get this quickly. Please and thank you. Oh, good grief. Blow it open. Uh, we're pretty far ahead of time on tech, yeah? So, how about core creation cost reduction? I know I'm about to take a bunch of cores, but I think it's worth it. 25% cost reduction? Yee! That pays for itself in the long run, if not the short run. Well, definitely not the short run, but... It's worth getting! Why pay extra points? We just need to spend a little time, you know, getting nine per month for a while, that's all. Winter Siege! I can lose manpower, I don't care. Desires of the Flesh! Oh my god. Lose money. I should have lost prestige. I didn't care. Whatever, it's fine. Shut up! 90% war score. Come on, take the fort. Thank you! Alright, now we're at 99%. So, can't piece you out, I'm aware. I'm making these videos just a smidge longer, I think, by the way. In part because, um, this series will go on forever if I don't. Chewie already has been making some of his videos a little longer, if I recall correctly. Get those all converted. Need a new advisor. Yearly Prestige guy? Sure, I'll do that. And I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and promote you up. I know we're spending a lot per month, but I can afford it. Let's kill the rest of the Swiss troops just because I want them to suffer. Any second now? Thank you. Oh, and we just finished the other fort. Perfect, even better. All right, so now we can really take whatever we want. So, I'm taking these three because that's necessary for my mission. That's 62 war score, my God. Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. This is all I can take? I wanted more than this. I could ignore Byzantium and Anatolia and just take more stuff myself. I could take this and then I could go kill Medina and I can start taking over Saudi Arabia because I have Holy War. Yes! All right, so the coalition is really not impacted much at all. This is completely fine. So I'll just take all that, thank you very much. Feed a little bit more land to the big fat Byzantium, who just went bankrupt again. <laughs> Do you need some help, buddy? They've needed help for a while, let's be honest. Oh my god. I almost feel bad until I don't. Then I stop feeling bad. Yeah, like what if we killed Medina? You know? They got an a couple of allies. And then we just go kill Naj, and then we kill Hormuz, and we start eating all this. The Timurids still exist. And they're strong. Somehow I didn't put that together. Muscovy is still a thing. Aragon, 60% of the way there. Cool. Uh, you guys will go down here. You guys will go down over here. We'll hold on to some of this land. I didn't take anything out of Switzerland, so that should be really easy. Most of these guys, once they're converted to Orthodox, aren't really going to be much of a threat. 
Do I have any more territory that I need to core myself? Or sorry, convert? Yes. Global trade. France only just now got global trade? Oh, France. France, buddy, pal, France. Oh, France. We really ought to just kill France. Wait, there's a coalition against Great Britain? France, Brunswick, Saxe-Lauenburg, Lunenburg, Mainz, Thuringia, and Dithmarchen have all declared a coalition against Great Britain. I could humiliate these fools. It's the only way that I can get any freaking power projection is my problem. I thought if you were the number one world power, there was a good chance you could just stay up in like the 50-ish region for like ever. Apparently that's not true. I need rivals, dang it. I need people to get stronger. Uh, before we end this video, let me just, before I forget, because I'm going to take a break for this recording session. I cannot do any more reducing of autonomies. Drat. How about more rebels? Corfu, yes. Harsh treatment them, twice even. Milan, sure. Is that it? Wait, nope, it's not. Dalmatia, Ooh, a bit expensive, but all right. Mantua, yes. Morocco, cheap. And I think that's about it for me for right now. Okay, so that brings me up to 60. Absolutism. So we're now at 18% administrative efficiency. Getting there. Made some good progress on Alhambra. And we're preemptively improving the... I thought I was improving the mausoleum. What happened? I think Byzantium stole the money. Well, we're going to end this anyway. So thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.